Hello? Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. We need to have a serious talk about your alliances. I don't work for you anymore. Oh, ain't that convenient. You come to me wanting a uh, opportunity or whatever. And out of nowhere, you just go, oh, I'm not working. Well, I'm not working. Well, that is just too damn bad. <laughs> I'm not going to get angry. I want you to, um, let's see here, uh, uh, grow some balls and, uh, work for me. Uh, you are working for me. Uh, I have a task for you. And you're going to do it. Or I'm going to kill you. Simple as that. But he'll kill me. Don't you understand? I'll kill you. Uh, except when, when he kills you, it'll be fast. A bolt to the head, a few bullet holes in your chest, and breaking your neck too quick. I'll use a knife, and I won't be laughing. You'll be screaming. <laughs> you'll you'll be screaming. All right. You'll you'll want me to kill you quickly, but I won't. It'll be slow and painful. But of course, I won't kill you. No, no, sh oh, don't cry. Sh 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 you see, I understand what you're doing. I understand what you're going through. We are like you and I. All you've got to do is do what I tell you to. And you won't even have to worry about that big bad bane. You just got to let yourself go. Become Mr. Edward Nash. Edward, was it Edward Nigma? Yeah, whatever. Become that personality. Be yourself. Or, yeah, be your true self. Don't be Eddie. Eddie's just a fake persona. You hear me, Eddie? You're a fake persona. You need to let yourself become yourself. So, if, if I join you, he won't kill me? Of course not. Because he's going to think you're dead. You see, you're going to take everything you need, I mean everything you need, clothes and toilet paper, apparently, and uh, whatever, uh, leave everything, leave your wallet, leave your money, you won't be needing those. Everything tied to your name, credit cards, anything that can be linked to you, we're going to burn those. And we're going to let it leak out that you are in the fire. Of course we're going to need one, a body, uh, let me see here, uh, alright. Uh, I found a random dead body that looks just like you. Convenient. Yeah, I know. Applause. And we're going to state that in any manner or way, maybe in the bed, I, I don't care. We're going to burn it anyways. And then little Bane's going to think you're dead. Then we are going to be just fine. Okay, little Eddie or Edward? <sighs> See... How do I know this? Well, you don't know anything. I do. Well, I mean, uh, you, Eddie. Your Edward guy is pretty genius. But as soon as you're talking, it's just blah, blah, blah. But Edward knows what he's talking about. In fact, he, he, he's, uh, well, you, as soon as you give in, you have quite the uh, fascination with riddles. Uh, that would be a good nickname for you. Let's see. Uh, Quizzler. No, uh, the, the question. Uh, uh, Riddle Man. I don't know. Uh, uh, you think of some names. And, you know, or, or Edward thinks of some names. And uh, get back to me, okay? Fine. Fine. Good. Also, should the media actually get a hold of this this little recording right here? If if it's recording right now, I doubt it is. But in case uh, Gordon decides to be snooping around here, I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'll just make sure you're in a safe location that Gordon and his hound dogs won't find you. You hear me, Gordon? You won't find him. 
he's with me now. Oh, and Bane, obviously Bane's listening to this. You can't touch him. Mr. Nashton, or Nigma, is mine now. And speaking of which, I like the name Nigma. It's it prefer. I'm gonna call you Nigma from now on. Okay? Okay. Hugs and kisses. <laughs>